Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes back with another one, guys. So AMC is sitting at $13.90. We know exactly what's going on, guys. They trying everything in their willpower to get people up out of this play. GME and AMC supposed to be the biggest, most talked about plays in the stock market as of now and before. But as we know, guys, we can't control the crazy manipulation tactics that they steady throwing our way because this right here is one of the stocks and one of the plays between these two that could possibly bankrupt the big dogs. I'm talking about get them gone, get them out of here. And the only reason they could bankrupt them because when you shorten these companies like this, there's no limit. There's no ceiling to how much money you can lose. You can lose everything and then lose whatever you don't got. Meaning you can lose so much money, you can lose all your money plus lose debt money, loan money, money that ain't even yours. So now you in a whole double time. You lost all your money and all of somebody else's money. And that's what can happen shorten these companies. And they know that. That's why they're they're so much so invested in these stocks and trying everything and their willpower to hold them back and stop them from running anybody in their right mind know amc and gme should be a lot higher than what is currently trading at especially amc being for the fact that even through these difficult times right now with the fundamental aspects going up you know incredibly we should definitely be at a different price than what we're currently sitting at whether it's for the fundamental aspects, the price sitting at where it's sitting at, or if it's for the squeeze aspects, the price sitting at where it's sitting at. Either or, we should be trading a lot higher than what we're currently sitting at. So that's why anybody, you know, anybody can see that AMC is the, the best opportunity, the best time to buy. Load up zone is right now, guys, because regardless, regardless of how long we got to wait, regardless of when it's going to do what it's due, regardless, it's going to pop, guys. It's going to pop. It's going to pop again, and it's going to pop hard. As you can see today, guys, the stock market is rising a bit, just as we was expecting. Crazy first two days of the week. I told you guys, you know, I was expecting for us to have a nice spike within the market, but I didn't expect the first two days to be damn bad as they were. So, so as we could see, guys, stocks rise ahead of Fed's decisions on interest rates. So investors cheer better than expected results from the mega cap technology companies. U.S. stocks rose boosted by a series of better than expected earnings reported as investors awaited a critical interest rate decision from the Federal Reserve. So the S&P 500 climbed 1.4 percent. The Dow Jones event 0.6 percent the nasdaq jumped 2.5 percent shares of mega cap technology companies jumped at the microsoft and google reported earnings that was better than what investors feared guys so it is a pivotal and busy week in financial markets and traders around the world are awaiting the interest rate decision from the feds the u.s central bank is expected to lift its federal funds rate by three quarters of a percentage point to a range between 2.2 and 2.5 percent Wednesday afternoon. Investors will be watching for any clues from central bankers on the size of further interest rate increases this year and whether officials expect to then turn around and begin cutting rates next year. So guys, we see exactly going on. This thing is still crazy, crazy, crazy. Inflation is still going through the roof. The feds are still on the limb. They got to do everything in their willpower to help tame this inflation that's steady spiraling out of control and what they're going to have to do is hike interest rates very aggressively and tighten balance sheets guys and like i told you guys we know they the cause of all this and now they coming in like hey we're gonna make all this crazy mess happen and now we're gonna come in and try to save the day and so we could you know look like the good guys but anyways guys if we take a further look at the overall market we see amc sitting at 13 92 ish it's you know holding up them 13s very well like they can't get it down more as they want it to uh carvana sitting at 25.43 up five percent on today guys we're looking for that to take back off upstart sitting at 23.72 up four percent on the day we're looking for that to take back off game stop doing better than amc on today up over 2.5 percent sitting at 33 we also have coinbase up over 6.5 percent sitting at 56 also i get ideal price target nice investment with uh coinbase as well we got amazon up 119 at 119 dollars up over 4.4 percent tesla up 30 dollars on the day up 3.9 percent so we do have the market bouncing back as i was anticipating guys i told you guys regardless of what's going on i do believe it will be a spike and a bullish market within this bearish market this is just a drop in the bucket this ain't nothing really to be talking about as of now because i do believe you know 
I like to talk about it when it's going crazy, when you can actually see the FOMO. We got these large cap companies up over 15, 20% in a single day. We got the smaller cap companies up over 50% in a single day. Crazy spikes just to go right back down. That's what I'm speaking of and talking about. That's about to happen soon, guys. So be prepared for it. Be able to capitalize, get all your money off near the top or at the top, sell out everything and wait for it to bottom out again to start positioning yourself, guys. So that's my strategy. Just how I would do it. Always come up with your own plan do what's best for you and best for your situation i love you guys we out and god bless you we come